Timing and lighting is everything. That's actually one of the, I would say that this is the classic Steve Rennie moniker. Can we call it that? Like this is, that's Steve's license plate. It would be the thing that if he was the mayor of LA, you would take down the Hollywood sign and put up in the white letters, timing and lighting is everything. Um, and it's one of his most, uh, simple and almost like altruistic statements I've ever heard him make. It, it is very true. There's, um, you can't, you can't really like overstate that enough. I'm rambling a little bit about this, but um, having been at this for about 20 years now, I've really realized at many different times that um, you can be practiced, prepared, ready in every, you know, any, any capacity, every possible way. And if you don't show up at that exact right moment, which you can never actually anticipate when that moment's going to be, you could have the TV gig booked, you could have the, the big opening slot. Um, there are so many factors that need to line up in like the universe, in the cosmic sense. The light turns on you at that right moment the sun is going down on the horizon, you know? The audience swells right at that right moment. There's so many little things and big things and medium-sized things that need to line up at those particular moments in order for everything to just click and work properly that it almost seems miraculous when they do. Um, so that's the term, timing and lighting. That's how I've always interpreted it, at least. But it's something that Steve has always drilled into our subconscious over the years, timing and lighting, timing and lighting. So I think that the way that we've reacted to it is just um, kind of take on a philosophy, which is like be ready for anything at any time. At the drop of a hat, be ready to be there, show up, be good, be great, you know. Um, and it really ends up becoming like a 24-hour job. You have to really love to do this in order to do it. You kind of got to be obsessed with it in order to do it because it'll drive you nuts otherwise. And it'll probably drive us nuts anyway. But 